Right then, Swanee, let's uh, show you how we turn a cleft into a cricket bat. The first process is to cut the face on a state-of-the-art CNC machine. Dave's fixing the clefts onto the jigs in the right place. This CNC was designed by Gunnar Moore and uses computer-aided design, enabling us to make the most consistent, high-quality bats in the world. So we've just seen the first process on the CNC, and the result of that is we've got a cleft that's got the profile of the face, yeah. but also it's got the, the bow shaped in. Oh yeah, you can see that, yeah. So now that's got the that's the correct width for a man's back, the correct le length for a man's back. It's got the, the, the profile of the face and also the bow of a man's back. So that's now ready to go and be pressed. So the next stage is? Is, is pressing the blade so it increases the hardness of the face so you don't get any ball damage. So after we machine the face on the CNC, every blade comes and gets pressed. Now what this is doing is it's compressing the surface, generally between three and five mil that the surface goes down and what that does is it hardens the surface up so that it can withstand ball impact and doesn't damage the bat when you actually use it in a cricket match. So it'll have uh, four passes on, on this hydraulic press and it, after, each pra after each press the, uh, the pressure goes up so it gradually compresses the surface. The roller shape here is a, a perfect match to the face so that we can we ensure that there's a uniform press across the face and also all the way up the blade. So the first stage of the handle fit is to V-cut the handle. So after we cut the, the V in the handle, we mirror that cut in the blade so that the handle will fit nicely into the cleft. Mark's just checking the fit of the handle because obviously it's machine sewn, every handle needs hand fitting. So you'll see if it's um, too big or too small. The first thing that he needs to do is, is clean off the tabs on each side. And then what he's doing there is actually chiseling the set of the handle. He'll then offer it back up to the blade and recheck. He's obviously not happy, so he's going to chisel a little bit more off. So each gun and more handles hand fitted by a ma master craftsman. So again, still not happy, so it goes back in, which is a little bit more off. So that Mark's happy with the, the fit, and now what he's doing now is actually putting the set in the handle. Just checking that. He's obviously happy, so what now he's going to do is he's going to pull the handle off. What he's doing here is making the, the face of the handle flush with the blade, so when we come to glue in, the set doesn't change. And that's how we fit a handle. OK, after Mark's fitted the handle, what we do then is we glue the handle in, so match on, knock the handle out, put a, a good quality PVA glue onto the handle on both sides. and also the tabs of the bat.
and then he'll fit the handle back in making sure that the handle and the blade are flush and that, that means that the set that Mark put in it is the same. So once he's happy with that, once he's happy with that, that's obviously good, he'll clamp that up. And then the, they'll be kept in those clamps for 24 hours for the PVA glue to dry. The bat then goes back onto the CNC where the computer designs really come into their own. So this is the CAM or the computer aided machining software. The CAM software generates these yellow lines which are the tool paths which are used to the machine users to, to cut the piece of wood. The model that you see there is the exact thing that the machine's going to cut. You can then compare the CAM model to your CAD model, so what you've drawn and then what you're actually going to machine. So the red is the model, the grey is the, uh, the actual machined bat, and the, any red you can see is what we've actually cut into the CAD model, but actually when you look at how much we've cut in, it's, it's actually microscopic. Another thing that software can do is we can simulate what the machine does. So before we actually machine any willow at all, we've got a pretty good idea of what shape we're going to machine. So this is the finished bat, you can see that it's had its back cut, the pineapple that you saw yeah. scooped out the profile, with the scoop it means that you get a big, a big swell but with less weight because you've got less wood in there. Okay, um, and, and it cut the toe? It cut the toe, so it's, it's the right length, the correct yeah. length, the shoulder's been cut, um, only rough rough finished, you'll see Kev later finish them by hand right. and then they'll get sanded but that's the bat off the machine. It's now looking like a real bat isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not uh, far off at all. Every bat that comes off the machine for that profile is exactly the same. So whenever you buy, if you buy a bat today, next year you want the same bat you can go into the shop and buy the same bat with no, no problem. This will be exactly the same shape. Very clever machine.